Yeah, what up guys? Back again with the finished product. Like I told you guys I was going to do. Let's guys, uh, let you guys take it all in. Real quick. Complete weathering completed. You know, his pants, he got, he got drug on the ground by the uh, tanker truck, so uh, let me get right into it. Uh, you guys have seen my previous video on how I did the head sculpt. This is the complete head sculpt, full weathering. Haven't really changed much since the uh, last video. Uh, this is sitting on a TTM20 body, the Arnold body. Um, it's a DX10 shirt. Um, obviously customized with bullet holes. Um, DX13 jacket, the already weathered version, which is uh, the better leathers in my opinion. Uh, it's not the real leather, it's more of the pleather, so it's able to be weathered. I'm not going to do any mods to it, I'm just leaving it as is, because in case uh, later down the line, you know, I need it for something else, which I highly doubt it, but... Um, we have the DX13 hands, already uh, mangled up gloved hands, with endo parts showing through, so that's one thing I didn't have to do, which was great. Um, these are Enterbay Che Guevara pants, um, perfect fit for the TTM20, and they're more accurate to uh, the film than what Hot Toys uh, provided with the Technor version. If you look at that thing, I mean, they're like khaki pants. He doesn't have khaki pants. They're more of a green. So uh, these are more accurate. Uh, these are my custom boots. Um, you know, it's just a straight uh, mold of the original boots, and I had to make the strap and stuff on the, the boot because you can't really cast that. But... Um, and I tore up the pants, weathered it, shredded it up a bit. Um, there isn't really much uh, source material as far as uh, you know, HD quality pictures of how he looked um, in the film. Um, th like I said, this is just temporary, guys. I just have it all taped up. I don't have any heat shrink wrap. Uh, there's the switch. There's the battery. I just have it hanging in the back. You can't even see it. So that is that. Um, you know, I'm pretty proud of the way this guy came out. Uh, like I said, uh, I want to thank P for the inspiration, ADEV for the support and the, uh, you know, knowledge of everything honored. Death Asylum, uh, Peter the Skull, uh, everybody pretty much on the Sideshow Freaks, they hang out in the Terminator threads. Thanks for the support, guys. Oh, what's up, uh, Ryan, Eight Man? Um, yeah, pr that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to go over that, how, uh, you know, it's my custom honored. Now watch, I just finished this, now Hot Toys will announce theirs. That's usually how it works for me. Oh well. I honestly don't know if they can top this head sculpt, but they can try. I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking out my ass, but... That's it, guys. I'll let you guys soak it in. It's my custom... The Terminator T-800 battle damaged version from the finale of the film. He is a mean son of a bitch. He's out to get Sarah Connor. Going to get you. Come on, I'm going to get you. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. I just want to do a quick review on that. Show you guys my figure. And uh, I'll make a cut here and show him what the rest of his honored brothers. I'll be back. Yeah, back. Um... I was gonna turn on all the lights on all the heads, but uh, that's really bright. We have my DX10 here, full Cyberdyne assault version with the minigun. We have uh, another DX10 here with the uh, the M79 CO model grenade launcher, metal and wood version. Looks very nice. And we have uh. The DX13 there, I still haven't gotten a body. I took my chest piece off 
that uh, pretty much the Cyberdyne shooting all shot them in the kneecaps and stole their fucking SWAT van version um, we have the full blown full battle damage DX13 here quarter scale into skeleton fucking beautiful piece of machinery and then we have my uh wow, look how bright that LED is just like the movie um my custom that uh, we've been talking about it's my Technor Arnold like I said guys I had to take apart my police station shooter I just need a body and I'll have that all back together again my MMS version still a classic we have the, why does it look smoky in here? It's not. Uh, endo arm reveal. My stupid John Connor. You call moi, dipshit? T1000, T1000, T1000. That's pretty much it, guys. I do have what you're probably not going to see down here. T600 and T700, T700 diorama. And uh, that's about it. So there's my Arnold's shelves. It's not that impressive, but, you know, it's there. Alright guys, thanks for watching, I'll be back.